Around morning local time, Yellowstone Steamboat Geyser erupted for the first time. The Steamboat Geyser on Yellowstone Volcano broke the record for the number of eruptions in a single year for 2024. In its monthly activity update, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory confirmed that there were 48 eruptions last year. That's 16 more than the previous record set in 2019, when Steamboat erupted with 32. We don't really know the exact duration of the eruption right now, Wendy Stovall, a U.S. Geological Survey scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Newsweek, noting that the eruption is definitely over for now. It's possible that it will erupt again, steamboat erupts sporadically, she added. It can erupt every few days or every few months or every few years, it's very unpredictable. USGS scientists and park staff stress that there is no cause for concern regarding the supervolcano underlying Yellowstone. We're not concerned at all that there's anything volcanic going on, Stovall said, adding that the Yellowstone supervolcano hasn't erupted in more than 600,000 years. There have been geysers that have erupted over that time, and that doesn't mean that there's anything going on with the magma underground. That said, the geysers are indirectly fueled by magma several miles underground. That magma heats up a pocket of water trapped just beneath the Earth's surface. You basically have a shallow reservoir of boiling water, Stovall said. While there is no risk of volcanic activity following the geyser, the USGS and park staff continue to monitor the site. Those monitoring systems, like a thermometer located at the steamboat outlet and a nearby seismic sensor, are what alerted them to the geyser erupting in the first place. The hope is that studying the data in more detail could one day yield clues that could help scientists actually predict eruptions, something that's not possible right now. According to Vicki Regula, a public affairs assistant at Yellowstone National Park, the surrounding area is still closed during the winter. If there are visitors in the area, the park will close the area for safety reasons. The plume can be over 300 feet high, and the water is gushing out, and there can be debris, she said. The 300-foot plume makes Steamboat the tallest active geyser in the world. Stovall didn't see this eruption and has never seen Steamboat geyser in action before, but has seen other geysers erupt in Yellowstone. Steamboat Geyser, in the Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National Park, is the tallest active geyser in the world. Steamboat Geyser has two vents, a north and a south, that are about 20 feet apart. The north vent is responsible for the highest water column. The south vent's water column is shorter. Before 1904, Waimangu Geyser in New Zealand had several higher eruptions reaching 1,600 feet, but in 1904, a landslide changed the local water table, and Waimangu has not erupted since. Excelsior Geyser in the Midway Geyser Basin, Yellowstone, and Semi-Centennial Geyser north of Roaring Mountain on the Grand Loop Road have been reported as high as Steamboat, both with eruptions reaching 300 feet. However, Excelsior has not erupted since 1985 and serves as a hot spring, 
and semi-centennials one eruption of this height was reported in 1922 and has been dormant since then. 